Greetings, Wealthy Wife, Fam, and Friends. <laughs> this is Miss Sophia here at Wealthy Wife. How are you doing? I hope all is well with all of you. As you can tell, I'm in one of my goofy moods today. I have such a great time. I don't know what else to say. I really, truly love what I do. I have such a great time. I love having a chance to come on YouTube and have a chit chat with all of you. I guess I'm hanging out with my goddaughters, which my wealthy wife goddaughters, which you guys know I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. Um, I've got this upcoming one day with Math Live Masterclass on the uh, art flirting is a superpower that's coming up on Saturday. And thank you so much, Gabriel, for letting me know that I had put the wrong date in the description box. The correct date for the flirting is a superpower masterclass is Saturday, June 8th. It's going to run from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. ish. You might run a little over Eastern Daylight Time. Now, flirting and discussing flirting is nothing new with me. I have been discussing the power of flirtation on this YouTube channel for many, 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 many years because I'll say this once more it is a language. You know, I was out here trying to tell you how to learn foreign languages, learn how to speak French, Spanish, this, that. You know what is a universal language? Flirting. Flirtation is a universal language. Now, before I go any further, because I'm going to talk about this some more, discuss this some more today, I want to thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you being here. Once again, my old school OG subscribers, you guys, my, oh my gosh, thank you. I once again appreciate you being here with me for all the years that you've been here watching me build out and grow here on my YouTube channel and within Wealthy Wife. Because some of you actually are also alumni who have actually been through Wealthy Wife you know, courses or you're a current students inside a wealthy wife for my newer newer subscribers which i see it is increasing i'm like oh my gosh i'm watching my numbers go up thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you and also welcome to the world of wealthy wife hope that you too should become a long-term subscriber and by all means go through the videos i got tons and tons of videos on tons of topics but anything i discuss for those of you that are newer newer it is always about your well-being as a woman yes we love men Yes, one of my specialties literally is affluent, rich, and wealthy romance. That is one of my specialties. I'm called the godmother for the godmother for a reason in that space. Uh, but my goal always is your well-being first. I never want anyone going out here trying to do things when you're not ready, when you're not literally emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually ready. Because to live an upgraded life, you need to be an upgraded person. So you can actually enjoy the experiences, experiences and avoid self-sabotage. Because promise you, promise you. We all go through the stages of self-sabotage until we finally understand that we are a vessel large enough to hold and contain and overflow what we're asking for. Now, for my once again, for my wealthy left goddaughters, ladies, oh my gosh, we have been hanging out quite a bit lately and I am so, so happy to have you in my life. Once again, the epiphanies, the learning, the expansions, the growth, the way their lives are shifting and changing, how they're what they're putting out there is now coming into their world. I was laughing because I had a call with I had different things going on. I did the Glamour Magic Masterclass just ended. We did our last call on this past Saturday. Um, so the call before it was a Wednesday call, which is a general I do like. Three, two to three calls, general calls throughout the month for the entire academy students. And I was laughing because I have some of them that are in the Master in the Arts of Feminine Alert. And I'm going to talk, I'm going to be discussing this course as well because I was thinking about personas, but that's a different audio. But I was laughing because one of my goddaughters, I've known her for like a hot minute, I think I've shared uh, something in reference to her a couple audios ago. And she was saying, because she's in that particular master class, learning the dark energy. Feminine, dark feminine energy archetypes, the coquette, the enigma, the siren, the femme fatale, dark, uh, the domain of dark goddess. And I was like, so how do you like it? She goes, I love it. She goes, oh my gosh. She goes, I've spent all these years fighting with that darker energy because we've been taught that that's not a good thing. Oh, to be dark is bad. It's, it's evil. It's this. No, it's not. Dark energy is just simply the energy of creation. Everything came out of the dark. There is no light without the dark. Now, it's what it's as with anything, because light energy isn't always good. Bad dark energy isn't always bad. It's what you do with it. It's what a person does. Just like with money, some people are terrified of money. Money's evil. Money is energy. Money is currency. There's nothing good or bad about money. It's what the person chooses to do with it that may create some problematic situations. But that's not money. Money's energy. She is here to do wonderful and great things and she loves to play. So anyway, 
but I was laughing because when she said it, I'm like, and she's like, she goes, she goes, I finally get it. She goes, I finally get it. And she's had some seriously awesome success working inside of Wealthy Wife. She's been a private client of mine. She's done academy courses. She has had some seriously amazing success. And now I'm looking forward to watching her do even better because it finally the light bulb turned on. She's like this. She goes, these are my superpowers. She goes, oh my gosh, all this time, like, like my entire life, I've been fighting with myself. Because her, one of her dark uh, feminine energy archetypes is the enigma. She also has coquettish aspects to her as well. Um, but I'm going to save that, like I said, for a different audio because I want to be discussing the personas and on a different audio. But anyway, so I get excited. That's why I talk and I, I'm always like just so like, ah happy because I'm watching their progress their lives are improving because they're doing the work they're taking the tools and information being offered here at wealthy wife as well as my guidance because obviously I'm here assisting as well and they're using it and their lives are shifting and changing what is not to enjoy and be happy about to know that the ladies that I have the privilege of working with are thriving yes so anyway, let's talk about flirting. 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 It is one, like I said, it's a whole language. It's a universal language. I was sharing with my Glimmer Magic class on Saturday because I was actually showing them some of the things that I actually do, which I'll be, t I'll be, I'll be sharing with the, uh, if you're going to join me, join us for the Flirting is a Superpower Masterclass, which once again, go in the video description. It's on, it's on special right now. I think the special goes through tomorrow. So you register today and tomorrow, you actually come be able to come in uh, at half price for the tuition. And it's only a one day course, not, not a six week course. It's a one day class. But I was sharing with my last Glamour Magic class some of the things I physically do, like the nonverbal cues that I use and how I speak in reference to uh, the men that I meet. This could be men that I know. This could be men I'm just meeting. I'm a playful person. When I choose to go out and be social, I can be a very playful person. And I love men. So they're definitely, I have no issues hanging out with them, talking to them, being playful with them. I, as you know, if you've been with me for a while, I, being around men is just, to me, it's like, it's no big deal because I was raised around them. I was a daddy's girl when my father is deceased. Um, I, you know, brothers, I raised sons, you know, I've just always been surrounded by men my entire life. So to be around them to me is just like breathing. It's just second nature for me. So when I go into social situations, you know, I'm going to engage usually. But I was laughing because I was telling them, what was it about? Oh, my gosh. What did I tell you? There was a couple of things I shared with them. Oh, 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 oh. When I, how they were like, how to speak, how to get conversations started. Because I'll, I'll talk to total strangers. I think I've shared before my on here on YouTube where when I was down in South Florida, you know, one of the places I used to hang out, I talk about my Starbucks all the time. It was like this place that had like all these shops, like this is strip mall. It was like an oval shaped, basically area that was just like, um, it was just a, it was a great spot, great spot. It has a museum, amphitheater. It's just a great, great spot. And they would have festivals there. So, and sometimes I would forget, I would forget that there was a festival coming. So I'd go walk down there. I always put out to my angels because angels are available to assist, to assist you with everything. We have parking angels. Well, we also have Starbucks table angels, just so you know. <laughs> well, at least I do. And I would always put out there before I even leave my car, or before I'd be driving down this to where I was going, I need a table. So please make sure I have a table to sit at. I don't care if it's full when I get there and let somebody be getting up. And it would usually happen. So I'd walk up there to the line and be like, oh my God, out the door wrapping around the building. I'm like, great. Someone would get up from a table, I'd put my stuff down, and I'd get in line. So if I'm going to be standing in line, I'm going to find someone to talk to. I am. That's just how I am. I'm going to find someone to have a conversation with. Because once again, why not? This is a perfect time to play. So I'll stand in line, and you know, people behind me, I'll say, hey, how are you doing? One in front of me, how are you doing? And usually there'll be a man in front of me and behind me. And I'm thinking, hmm, who will be the one I'm going to instigate conversations with first? And I know I've shared this before on YouTube, but I, but some of you are new. So what I'll normally do is, if the man is sitting in front of me, especially if he has on, on like a nice shirt or something, and if he smells good, I'm definitely saying something. But let's say he has a nice shirt on. And I'm like, oh my gosh, excuse me. 
my he's in front of me. I'm like, excuse me, can I ask you a quick question? And he'll turn around, yes, what's going on? I mean, I go, oh my gosh, can I ask you a quick question? And he's like, sure. I go, I, I, your, 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 your shirt. I mean, that, it looks, you look amazing. I love the shirt. I go, I know that sounds kind of weird and crazy. I go, but hear me out. <laughs> He'll start laughing. I go, my brother's birthday's coming up and you guys have a similar style. So I was wondering, if you don't mind me asking, where did you get it? And that question is asked for two reasons. One, you're going to find out where, he, you know, where he got the shirt from, if he even knows. And two, you also find out if he has a woman in his life. Now, I'm not looking to flirt with people because I'm looking for any romantic connections, especially not standing in line at Starbucks waiting to get my coffee. I'm just hanging out. But it's just fun. So usually he'll say, oh, I, he'll either tell me where he purchased a shirt, if he purchased a shirt, or he will say, oh, I don't know. My girlfriend or my wife bought it for me. Well, you know what? If he purchased it, thank you for the information. Once again, you look great. By the way, by the way my name is Sophia, and you are? He'll tell me his name. You know, John, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll go back to what I'm doing. And if he has a woman, I'll say, you know what? She has excellent taste. You obviously chose well in the reference to the woman in your life. Good man. <laughs> and he'll kind of smile, you know, like, oh, you know, thank you. That's it. That was a whole flirtatious moment. Now he feels good. The people around me feel good because you know they watched this exchange. It was a fun and pleasant exchange. Now everybody's happy. You know that we're paying attention because what happens is usually when I walk into a space, people are going to notice me just because they are. I have that kind of energy, I have that kind of presence. And other times, it's also the fact that I'm usually the only, you know, melanated person there. That's just my world, okay? I might move in a space that is mostly, yeah, I'm usually one of one. <laughs> Sometimes there's a couple more there, maybe. So yeah, that's also going to, you know, get people's attention. But once again, I go where I do, well, I'm going to go where I want to go. So that's one thing I'll do. But I was also sharing with them how, because they're asking like things to talk about. I go, well, for me, I said before, and I've shared this too on, on YouTube, that when I'm going in reference to socializing, I'm not discussing wealthy wife. I discuss wealthy wife when I'm in business functions. When I go to business things, absolutely, I discuss wealthy wife. But like on social stuff, I don't talk about what I do for a living. I don't talk about this because I also have other things that I do, but I do discuss my jewelry designing because once again, I am a jewelry designer. For those who may not know, if you see any of the videos that you see me in, that I'm actually doing an actual video video, you can actually see me. If you look at the necklaces, the bracelets, those are mine. Though the beaded jewelry that you see me wearing, those are my creations. So I'm always wearing my stuff. I never leave my house without wearing something that I, pieces, several pieces of my jewelry on my body. I do anklets. I do, you know, wrist bracelets. I do, you know, bracelets. I do um, waist beads, chokers, you know, other types of necklaces, body jewelry. I do a ton of stuff, just so you know. So that's what I usually discuss. But I was sharing them in class that I also, since most of them are not jewelry designers, I say, well, how about perfuming? Because in that class, the Glamour Magic class, we talked about like different skill sets and things they enjoy doing. So, and most of them mentioned that they love to create their own fragrances, you know, mixing and matching oils, you know, just doing different things. I go, I like to do that as well. So what I'll do sometimes is when I go to my, we'll go to my Starbucks and I'm sitting at my table by myself, eventually one of the guys or the guys will come over and join me and I'll be like, hey, whoever's sitting with me, quick question. It's like, what? How may I help you? I need you to, I go, smell this. And they'll start laughing. Like I take my wrist. I go, S -s -s take a whiff. What do you think? And I'll tell them, it's like I've been working on, you know, creating some new fragrances. I've been doing mix and matching my oils. And just, I'm kind of curious. I go, because at this point in time, I go, I don't smell it anymore. Which ideally, that's what happens when you put on fragrance. I go, so I was kind of wondering. I would really like a man's opinion. And you're a man. And this is me, ladies. I'm just sharing with you how I speak because this is literally what I do. Um, I go, and you're a man. And they're like, so good of you to notice. I go, right? <laughs> and we'll start laughing, right? Um, so what I'll do is I guess I'll literally put my go, smell this. What do you think? I already know they love how I smell, okay? Because that's the one thing they always say, I knew you were here. I could smell you. I literally, the fragrance will get ahead of me. They're like, I knew you were coming. I knew you were coming or I knew you were here. If I'd been inside Starbucks because the fragrance lingers 
and they'll come out of Starbucks looking for me. They're like, oh my God, I knew you were here. I'm like, how? I smelled your fragrance in Starbucks. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I have a seat. And we'll talk. This is flirting, ladies. Flirting is a universal language. Now, the point I was getting to, because I forgot this one, I was also telling about the fact that when my father used to live, they had a very, um, they had this Brazilian market. I love this store. Could not read. I'm laughing. I lived in Florida for so long. You think I would be fluent in Spanish? I am not. <laughs> we're, we're talking bare bone, bare, bare, bare bone basics. I barely can do that. So I do not. There's no fluent speaking of Spanish with me. But I'll go to this market, right? Because you know, there's just the stuff is different there. They don't get their stuff in the same place that the general markets, like the big box stores, get their stuff from because their population has very specific things that they like to eat. And there's just it's just different. The meats are different. The fish, there's, there's different stuff there. And I remember I was going to the store then and I was getting a, a cart, a shopping cart. And this gentleman starts talking to me. He's speaking Portuguese. I don't know if Portuguese. I could say, I could say, hola. And every now and then I can get out the phrase, how are you? And sometimes I mess that up too. That's really about all I'm good for. I know I'm Espanol. That's about it for me. That's my Spanish. You just heard my, all my Spanish, okay? And he's talking. Da, 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 I don't know what he's saying, but I know he's flirting with me. And I told him, no hablo Espanol. And he came back with basically, I don't care. Looks at me, blows a kiss at me. Does the woman shape thing like you're beautiful? Basically, he says because I don't know, you know, I don't know the word for beautiful. I don't can't tell you what it is right now, but I heard that, and I was like, okay. I was like, mm, oh well, you know, gracias, gracias, thank you, I appreciate, yeah, thank you. I go with mm, no hablas español, you know, hablas English. He says no. I'm like, oh, we're done. We're done. We're done here, but it didn't matter. He was literally doing it. He was shooting his shot. I was rolling and I just smiled at him and I waved as I walked away. But flirting is a universal language. And it's fun. And I have desire for all of you because some of you listening are natural born flirts like me. You get what I'm saying. But most women are scared to death of it. I know this because I've been working with women for decades. And the concept of flirting, they're like, oh, they're freaked out. I'm like, you realize it's not a big deal. It's just a language. You just talk. You play. You watch the nonverbal body cues because we're going to talk about that in class as well. This course is going to be covering verbal things you can say, like I just shared with you some of the things I do. I literally just gave you guys some game right there just explaining to you what I do, okay? But we're also going to be going over nonverbal cues because the nonverbal cues, I'll be honest with you, are even more important than what you say. It is the body language, how to read the body language, how to read the room, paying attention to what's going on around you. I think that's part of one of the reasons why most people get nervous about flirting is because, one, people become so self-conscious when they're out and about that all they're thinking about is them. Oh, my God, does my hair look good? Does my makeup look right? Just all this me, 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 and they're not reading the room. Well, flirting falls under the category of the art of seduction. Remember, seduction also isn't just about, you know, romance and sex and sensuality. Seduction also is a language. And flirting is one of its categories. And as Robert Greene says so beautifully in his book, seduction isn't about you. It's about the other person. So flirting is the same way. If you want to be a great flirt, you have to understand how to make it about the other person. And the beautiful part of it is this. When you do this, the other person automatically becomes interested in you. Now, I'm not saying every single time, but at least for that moment, you're going to have their attention because they have yours. Does that make sense? See, that's one of the things that makes what I do so enjoyable is the fact that I have a chance to, once again, help my goddaughters ease their stress, ease their tension about what am I doing and why, what will people think, nothing. People are not going to think anything because here's a problem. People are going to talk about you. If they like you, they're going to talk about you. They don't like you. It doesn't matter. People are going to talk. If they're going to talk, they're going to talk. So just do you. I go, also, when you learn to stop so much focusing on yourself and begin to outward focus on other people, you'll relax. Because now you're actually paying attention to what someone is saying to you, what's going on around you, 
So you become less self-conscious. And when they finally do that, when they finally relax and just start just living, I mean, really, they're just enjoying their experiences, the transformations happen. So that's what we're going to be discussing in this course, Flirting is a Superpower. Once again, it's just a one-day master class, June, I'm moving to January, oh my gosh, slow down, (laughs) June 8th, Saturday, June 8th, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. It's on you know, you can register now for the class, get yourself on the wait list. There are some things that you're going to be able to do there. I've got some preliminary things you can actually do. Uh, there's a quiz you can actually take. I've got some other, 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 do- other like worksheets and things you can actually do to start getting you in a headspace and really start thinking about, you know, what is this thing called flirting? How ready am I to actually learn this new way of, of interacting with people? Because flirting is a language. I'll say this again. It's a language. And it's a very beautiful language. Which you can use in your personal life, socializing, professionally, romantically. All of them require a different type of flirting. But we're going to discuss that in the class. I flirt at work too. When I used to work for other people. When I was still working for someone. And let me, okay, I'm going to give you a a quick taste of this. I'd go into my manager's office. Especially if I was going to a new company. Go in the manager's office. And, you know, I oh, and I always survey a room. That's just how I'm wired. I always survey a room. And if I notice something, let's say, for example, there's pictures on the desk of children. I was like, oh, wow. They're cute. Yours? And sometimes they were. Sometimes they might be a niece or nephew. If they're his children, I was like, oh, they're, they're mine. Wow, how old are they? So-and-so is such and such. Oh, they're six and seven. Wow. I bet they keep you busy, don't they? He's like, yeah. What are your favorite things to do? What, what, do, you, what do you enjoy most about being a father? Ladies, that's flirting, just so you know. It's conversation. What do you enjoy doing? What do you enjoy most about being a father? Because something tells me you're a great dad. Those look like two very happy children in that picture compliments are part of flirting sincere compliments okay not the fake you know sugary stuff oh my god no these are sincere compliments and it would always be so much fun because when i would do this eventually i would wind up you know the eventually the wife would come in and she'd bring the children and i'd have a chance to meet the wife and the children because at that point in time he wants to show off his wife and children to me especially the kids because i've seen the children i haven't met the wife yet um to once again, to confirm the compliment that I paid him when I said, I bet you're a wonderful father. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? I know men are listening as well. So basically flirting is you understanding how to put other people at ease and just being enjoyable, enjoying life and you being enjoyable as well. Now, in class, we'll talk about some of the the sexier stuff as well. Because you want to also understand how to be a flirt. Obviously, flirtation is a big deal when we're first meeting someone. But you also need to make sure you're still maintaining a level of flirtation in your long-term relationships, too. And some of you may be in relationships right now that are kind of going astray. They've gotten a little sour. They've gotten a little boring and stale. If that's the case, you need to be in this class. If you're brand new into a relationship, you need to be in this class. If you're in a relationship and things are kind of getting kind of boring and kind of stale and you're kind of concerned, you need to be in this class. If you're not in a relationship but you're looking to get into one, you need to be in this class. There are so many things I'm going to teach you that are going to have you going, oh, I never thought of it like that, Miss Sophia. You're going to start building out your foundational stones. The foundation stones that are going to put you in a position to look view your life in a very different way. In a way that's going to truly enhance your life and enable you to relax and allow some of the experiences you may have been pushing, pushing away from you because of your insecurities and your worries. And so often because once again, some of these things that you need to do, you may need to be more open. You may need to have better communication skills. You may need to be more playful and to be able to receive and enjoy the exchanges that come with this new skill set. So anyway, 
click the description box get yourselves enrolled like i said it's i've got the tuition on special i'm i'm just once again having a good time i know i keep throwing things out there at you guys right now but you know what i'm in creative mode and it's, it's summertime the weather is warm in this part of the world and if you guys and this is a time to get out there and see and be seen you might as well be prepped and prepared to do it well so anyway look forward to seeing you guys in class talk to you later bye-bye